morning. It's Tuesday, March 24th, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, A Father's Best Advice and Wisest Prayer. In our scriptures, Psalm 146 and Colossians chapter 1. If anyone is uh, truly honest, one thing which could never be said is how they wouldn't change a thing. No human, with the exception of Jesus, has ever lived a perfect life. Now with that said, when I look back at being a father, I tried to do two things with our children. Always give them sound advice and pray for them to enter God's holy family by faith and that they would walk in that faith. And I'm certain those were the best targets a father can hold up for his children. Now the scripture. The advice in Psalm 146. Don't put your confidence in powerful people. There's no help for you there. When they breathe their last, they return to the earth, and all their plans die with them. But joyful are those who have the God of Israel as their helper, whose hope is in the Lord their God. And the prayer in Colossians chapter 1. So we have not stopped praying for you since we first heard about you. We ask God to give you complete knowledge of his will and to give you spiritual wisdom and understanding. Then the way you live will always honor and please the Lord, and your lives will produce every kind of good fruit. All the while you will grow as you learn to know God better and better. We also pray that you will be strengthened with all his glorious power, so you will have all the endurance and patience you need. May you be filled with joy, always thanking the Father. He has enabled you to share in the inheritance that belongs to his people who live in the light. For he has rescued us from the kingdom of darkness and transferred us into the kingdom of his dear Son, who purchased our freedom and forgave our sins. King David understood power and powerful people and how fragile trust can be misused and broken if placed in another human's hands, even if that person genuinely tried to be honorable and faithful. David knew the best advice he could give his son was to look to a much higher authority and source for finding his life's pathway. He also knew praying for his son was the best legacy he could leave. For you today, those are two very lofty targets to hold up for your children to hit. Number one, get advice from God. Number two, pray without ceasing. If you're to accomplish that well in your children, grandchildren, and for anyone which your life touches, those targets must first be yours. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.